Welcome back to the UTEP Miners. In today's episode, we are going to be playing number 13 LSU, and we are going to hope that we don't get smacked like we did against Alabama and Texas. Right now, we are a combined loss of over 100 to 6. So let's hope we can uh, make that a little bit better. Right now, if you look at the team rankings, we are better at passing. And by watching both of those videos, how is that possible, you ask? Well, apparently, they can only complete 55 yards a game while we complete 99. But other than that, we are really close to everything else in stats except for overall rating and offensive rating and defensive rating. So maybe we can actually upset them. Now we're going to look at our recruiting board and we're going to look to see who is ready for visit. And the 76 overall, Kevin Malone, is ready to visit. I think we can scout him more. And we just found a diamond in the rough at a 78 overall and we are his leading school so we definitely need to get him a visit and by the way this works it looks like we need to be the fifth one to get a visit to get the plus 500 so we're gonna have to wait to get in the visit for a little bit but Kevin Malone we definitely need the other defensive end that we can get of Adam Wilson we are in the lead again, so let's scout him. And he's a 73, so having a 78 and 73 freshman coming in will be extremely important for us. And this athlete is a 74, also a diamond, and we are not in the lead, but it's only a 65-point lead for Northwestern. So we can hope that we can get Andrew Wesley. And the Pierre Prince is a 74, so we have found one, two three diamonds that we are close to getting we are further behind on this one than any of them but he is from texas so we have the advantage of that over missouri but he also is in texas tech so they have that as well now we're done with all the recruiting um this headline says can they do it utep is out to prove that games are not played on paper let's see Let's see if we can do it. In this episode, we're going to be wearing orange again. So this time when we get our pants, nobody will be able to tell. Lucky for us, we only have one shaking needle. Our defense gives up an average. Our defense gives us 71 points a game, 569 yards a game, 253 passing yards, and 316 rushing yards. We are bad. I think 126 is the worst that they can be. And we are literally 125th, 26th, 20th, and 26th on offense as well. So, uh, oh my gosh, it's not raining. This is the first game that it's not raining. We might actually be able to win. Man, these two defenses are absolutely awful. Hey, we have uh, one sack. I think we have two sacks. That's not fair. All right, here's the montage for the LSU Tigers. fight for LSU why do they always do a spin move oh we just got scared by a tiger why are all these teams celebrating beating UTEP I don't understand this crowd is insane as well I wish this was a night game I think it would look a lot better this time Heads never leads. Hey, we got it. Oh, good grab by Cowing. All right. So far, so good already. We'll hand it off, and he gets the first down. He gets six yards on that run. That's one of the best runs that he's had all season. All right, let's see if we can get it to Garrett or Cowing, and our last resort will be Hankins. Yep, let's get it to Hankins. Oh, he stayed in bounds, and we got a first down. This is the best drive we've put together so far. Oh, it's wide open. Oh, he got tackled by the shoelaces. He would have been gone for a first down, but right now I am really liking what I'm seeing from this team. Oh, oh, that was not smart by me. I meant to try to throw it to Hankins, but we got the sack instead. A promising drive coming to an end because of a snake by me. But we have an awful defense, so who knows. Oh, 
We almost got him, but he just shrugged him off. And then he just trucked him. How are you going to truck Prince like that? That was not nice. I have a feeling that we're not going to get blown out like we did against Alabama and Texas in this game. This game just feels different, and I say that, and their quarterback is a good runner as well. So it looks like we're going to have to keep watching TJ to make sure that he doesn't break off tackles like this. Looks like we're going to have to do a quarterback spy somewhere. I think I'm going to get Stewart with a quarterback spy. It's another read option, and they're going to get a first down. Man, we are really bad at the run game. We cannot stop the run to save our lives. Oh, I'm guarding a receiver. That's not good. Oh, he broke it. That was on. That was a user. That was a user mistake right there. I was watching the defensive line instead of my guys. So there's a first touchdown for LSU, and that one's on me, not the defense. We need to use utilize our tight ends more in this offense. So let's try to do that. Get it to X. Ooh, grab. Ooh, what a hit. That was rough, but he snagged that ball. All right, let's see if we can get it to Cooper. Oh, we're going to get it to Cowing. Oh, what a good throw. What good anticipation. Once I saw him break off of his uh, defender, I knew that I was going to be able to get that pass. All right, he's got Cowing, but he can't throw the ball. I keep forgetting that his accuracy is bad and that I need to stop throwing it on the run. He beat him. Come on, Garrett. Another promising drive. Another punt. All right, we need to hold them from scoring a touchdown, at least. Oh, I forgot the cue back. <laughs> Ooh, what a hit. Oh, he pitched it out, but oh, why did I do that? Oh, he broke away. Come on, Knight. You can get him. Good tackle from behind, Knight. It's another read option and another quarterback run. Bye, have oh, a great what time. The? What was that move? I'm tired of him running, so I got everybody at quarterback spy. And he still is going to break away. Oh, my gosh. We cannot stop him. It's like nothing we do is going to work against him running the ball. Nobody's moving. Of course! We waited so long, and how did he get open? How did we not guard him? Our, our cornerback should have realized that he was running. I, I just don't know what to do. He's wide open. We can't win if he can't throw the ball. I mean... Can't blame the receivers. He's wide open. Get that throw out. You got to catch that, Cow Wing. He placed it right in the perfect area. Those balls you have to catch. We're down 21 to nothing. We got to go for it right now. But he's got him wide open. Garrett's got it. And we got the first down. Good job. Look at our cheerleaders trying to cheer us on. Hey, we have more first downs than them. That's the first. Beautiful throw and beautiful catch by Don Jr. for 13 yards. This is Hardison's best game. We're in field goal range, so we're going to score three points quicker than we've ever scored three points. Okay. Hankins might be, might be done for the game after a hit like that. Should we do the fullback dive? Yeah, we're going to do the fullback dive. Oh, it's easy. GG's. We're going to get this first down easily. First down and more. Four-yard rush. We might get our first touchdown of the season. He's wide open. He's wide open. We got the first down. It's first and goal. Our first first and goal ever in franchise history. No linebackers. Hole wide open. We score our first touchdown. We got the first touchdown of the season. That is incredible. That feeling of scoring a touchdown finally. A run up the middle. Beautifully blocked. And we finally get on the board with a touchdown. They know that they got to stop him so we can get back into this game. Okay, maybe not. Forrester coming back from behind to get him. This is a good tackle by Forrester. 
their run game is just incredible. And nope, they run it. And I read it, but I got picked up on a block. And he's probably going to take it all the way to the house unless Trotter can get there. And Caldwell gets it, but he can't tackle him. And they score another touchdown right before half. And that's going to take all the momentum away from UTEP. Oh, you ran right past him. We got to make plays like that, man. You can't let him run right past you. End zone, touchdown. 35-7. Cali might be able to return. The oh, he's not fast enough, but man, did he get a good return. Still not his best return, but it's top three. Oh, you can get him. Run, boy. Oh, what, why did I stiff arm? I meant to dive. Hey, we got 10 first downs. We're getting good XP. Oh, X is wide open. What a cut, Warfield. What a name, too. Warfield? We would to start utilizing our timeouts. Square is wide open and another bad throw. I feel like with those throws, it looks like that they can catch them, but they keep running away from them. So it kind of upsets me. Squares wide open, throw it, and he drops it. Calvin, those are the ones that you have to grab. That would have been a first down. All right, let's see if we can grab this one. Let's see if we can get a first here. Looking for Don Jr. Oh, he's wide open. And we got it. That's our second touchdown. We got our second touchdown. We got our first and second in the same game with a beautiful throw from Hardison to Garrett. And that was just an amazing play. All right, it's going to be a run, and we would have blown it up. Oh, he broke away. Is this going to – okay, it wasn't a touchdown, but they called the timeout, so it looks like they're going to be trying to score. For somebody that can't throw the ball, they sure are throwing the ball a lot and better than I thought they would. Oh, we hit him. That's the first pressure, pressure throw that he's had. That was a good hit. Maybe we injured him, hopefully. It looks like they're going to go for the field goal. And I think this should be a chip shot for him. So we'll probably be going out 38 to 14. But we'll see. Oh, he just made it. It was so close to being out. All right, at halftime, the score is 38 to 14. Yes, I said that right, 14. We might be getting smoked, but we've scored two touchdowns. All right, let's see if we can hold him to not scoring at all on this drive. Good stop. Minus four yards. That was a good stop by our defense. It's probably going to be a run play. Yep. Can we get him? We stopped him. Ortega with the tackle for a loss, making it a fourth and five. That's how our defense should be playing. Now, if we can just score a touchdown, we'll be in this game again. All right, our throwing game's been on point, so let's see if we can continue that here. Triangle's open. Oh, bad throw. It's so hard to throw on the run. All right, let's do another one. X. Oh, right into his hands, and he dropped it. That was such a bad decision. Cooper's wide. Garrett's wide open, and he gets it, and he breaks free. He's just so slow. He has a 72 run, run speed, so I think Farr is going to be covered by the linebacker, but I think I can still throw overthrow it to him. Maybe even Don Jr. wide open. Thank but you. I threw it right to Stingley. The, one of the best corners in college football, and he picks it off. And it come, our promising drive to score 21 points comes to an end with Stingley being a ball-hawking cornerback like he is. Quick throw, and Caldwell almost stops him, but he can't. Let's see if Prince can get to him before he goes in, and Prince pushes him out of bounds. All right, second and nine. They can still get a first down at the one-yard line. Let's hope we can stop them before they get there. Oh, it's a run. It's a run, stop, and he just runs straight up the middle for a touchdown. Oh, that's going to deflate our entire team. Oh, he gets around them. If he has the speed, he's going to be able to take this all the way. Number 14 is going to catch up, but he almost took it all the way. A 75-yard return to the 30. That is exactly what we needed to kickstart our offense once more to try to score another touchdown. Don Jr. is wide open, and we get it to him. And if he can get the corner, he's not going to get the touchdown, but he got 25 yards, and we're at first and goal once again. Let's get it to Hankins to see if he can run it in. 
and he's gonna oh I thought he was gonna make it but he gets right to the two yard line we're gonna try to run it again to see if we can get on another touchdown if we can get this touchdown and we score 21 points on the number 13 team at LSU I am going to be so proud of this team and it's wide open Pinkins gets his second touchdown of the game and it's 21 to 45 UTEP has three touchdowns after going two games of just scoring six points Oh, we got the sack. Ortega comes in and gets his first sack of the season. And we get a fourth and 14. Ortega gets off the block beautifully and just runs straight into him. That's the first of many sacks for Ortega, I believe. Triangle's wide open. Hat Hankins got it. Can he get to the end zone? No, he's not. But he got a 19-yard reception. And Hardison is having a career day here. At the end of the third quarter, the score is 45-21. to We might not be winning, but we scored three touchdowns. That's more than I ever thought we would against ranked teams. So I am proud of this team. Far is wide open, but they tip it at the line, and it's intercepted. That's going to make... I had to send so mad because that should have been an incomplete pass and a turnover on downs, except now it's going to be an interception forced on him. It's a run play, and he goes straight into the end zone, wide open, untouched, and they score over 50 points. I thought we were going to be able to hold one team to under 50, but it's not going to be this week. Let's see if they have any sportsmanship, or are they going to actually kick it to put them up 55 to 21? And they're going to let the clock run out, and that's going to do it. The final score is 52 to 21. There's a lot to say about this game, especially the fact that we scored three touchdowns, and that's the best that we've ever done. And it looks like we're getting really close to getting Peyton Manning an upgrade. I think we only need 25 more points, and we're not going to get it. But we're getting close. We know that we can score touchdowns. So I'm pretty proud of this team. Our defense imploded and our offense imploded at the end, but we scored, and now we know that we can complete drives. We just can't stop running. We can't stop running plays, and we can't stop passing plays either. So we just need to work on our defense a little bit more. And 52-21 to 21 seems bad, but it's better than 52-3. to 3. So that is the bright side of this game. We look at the player stats. Hardison was 18 for 36, another 50% game. This time he threw for 238 yards and one touchdown, his first touchdown of the season. He did throw two interceptions. One was a bad call by me, and one was one that didn't seem like it should have happened, but it did. His longest pass was 38 yards, but he was sacked three times. Now for running, this is probably the best running day for Hankins with 12 attempts at 39 yards, and he had two total touchdowns. And Hardison had six rushing attempts for a negative nine yards. Our receiving obviously was a lot better than it ever has been because Don Jr. had three receptions for 41 yards. Garrett, three receptions for 69 yards and a touchdown. We had Cooper with three receptions and 31 yards. We had Hankins with three receptions and 25 yards. Thompson, two for 30. Calwing, two for 20. And three drops, which was very bad because those three drops could have been first downs and we had Warfield with one for 15 and Soto one for seven. And we look at the defensive side of the ball. Forrester had six solo tackles and one tackle for a loss. Prince had six solo tackles. Knight had five solo tackles and one tackle for a loss. Caldwell had four tackles. James had four tackles, a tackle for a loss. Ortega had four solo tackles and three tackles for a loss and a sack. So our star left end was able to get into the backfield and get his first sack of the season. Now with our kick return, Cowan got nine kick returns for 309 yards. His longest was 70. But if you look at the other side, Finley completed 22 of his 24 passes, had 230 yards and three touchdowns. And that is bad for a team that averaged 55 yards a game in pass. Prince had 13 rushes for 124 yards and two touchdowns. Finley had 12 rushing attempts for 162 yards and one touchdown. And their backup, Emery, had 1 for 10 and a touchdown. But if you look at the team stats, 52 to 21 still seems really bad. But we're still the, still a very bad team. So scoring three touchdowns against the number 13 school at their stadium is pretty impressive in my opinion. They only had four more first downs than us. They had 572 total offense, but we had 269, which is the highest of the season. Our problems are the turnovers, which we had two and they had none. We look around the league, Texas had a 
beat down them 37 to 3 against Ole Miss and Oregon State destroyed number 22 Utah 30 to 7. If you look at the players of the game, of course TJ Finley for LSU was the offensive player of the game and Derek Steenley with two interceptions and a tackle was theirs. Our player of the game was Deion Hankins for 12 carries and 39 yards and two touchdowns and three receptions for 24 yards. And our defensive player of the game was Joshua Ortega with four tackles, three tackles for a loss, and one sack. Slip in. The Miners lose again, this time at the hands of LSU. In the next episode, we're going to play 1-2 and two UTSA. And this time we are playing at our home stadium. And it's going to be our first conference game, so we definitely are going to need to get that. But that'll do it for this episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Peace.